Hello everyone and welcome to another Black Mamba review. Thanks to the team at TF Direct. In today's video, we're taking a look at the third variation of the LS-03. This is their LS-03F, Commander of the God of War. This is of course based on the MPM, Optimus Prime, only upscaled and modified, this time sporting additional upgrades to make him closer to his Dark of the Moon CGI counterpart. We have a window box which opens up, shows an image of him in his truck mode. And on the back of the box there again, we've got the image of Prime in his truck mode and in his bot mode, as well as all of the various different accessories that are included in this box. To keep everything safe in transit, both himself and his weapons are stored in plastic clamshells. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. What a gorgeous looking figure. Uh, slightly different. We have the extended sections over these forearms, uh, but we'll take a closer look at him shortly. First of all, let's look at all of these accessories. Uh, the biggest difference between this and his previous releases, uh, we get some of the Mr. Bucket accessories only enlarged. We get these knuckle dusters, which are uh, rather nifty looking. They just tab in over the top of his gloves. We get the hooks, we get his swords, we get his axe, we get the different tires which we can switch out. The ones currently on him out of the box are those split tires. So if you change them out into his vehicle mode, we can put these ones on if necessary. And we also get this large gun as well. Love the detailing on here. You've got some really nice paint applications. It looks very much like I remember it. I mean, it may be slightly different. Look at that. LEDs. Boop. Super, super bright as well. Look at that. That looks pretty darn bright. I absolutely adore how this looks. Having them both alongside one another, this is where you can see the biggest differences. It's all in this chest area. Whereas these sections here tab in directly onto the chest. Now they sit further back and we have this kind of Cybertronian six pack thing going on. We get these extra blade sections on the top of there as well. And the paint on them is definitely, I would say, dirtier. It's kind of got a black wash as opposed to that really pristine, bright coloration that we got with his original counterpart. I actually prefer the paint on the new one. It's not vastly Different. I mean, there are uh, some differences. Obviously, this section here is red. Uh, this one was a prototype, so it had the blue, which I believe was changed to red for the final release. Uh, it's just that kind of smoked gunmetal they've gone for now, as opposed to the pristine silver. Uh, very similar to the sort of thing we would get with uh, kind of the Buster Primes, etc. And I really like it. It's a really nice coloration there just taking a look at the back of both figures again uh, the biggest difference just comes in the differences in paint and how it's applied it's definitely a much smokier color on here it's got that kind of dirty worn look to it i know it's not the most complex of modifications but personally i think it makes the world a difference just some knuckle dusters a nice chest on there and a huge rifle. It definitely works for me. Uh, still one of my favorite figures of 2018. Uh, Black Mamba Prime was a big step up uh, on the KO ladder for Black Mamba, in my opinion, challenging the mighty Wei Zhang. But uh, very happy with how this figure's come out. Uh, I may even prefer this to the Nemesis Prime that they did. It, it's close. Uh, there's not a lot in it. But I think this guy just might take the biscuit just due to those knuckle dusters and that awesome smoked paint application. I absolutely adore it. Just taking a closer look at some of that detailing. Definitely been working out since Revenge of the Fallen. Working on that Cybertronian six pack. Got all of this highlighted detail on the side. Got some pistons 
on there as well. And much like the other versions of Prime, we can switch the head out, just tilt it up, bring that up. And once that's clear, rotate that face around and bring that back down. Personally, I'm a firm believer in the order bots not showing their mouths. I just don't like how it looks. There we go. That's that's my personal preference on there. He is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking figure. Now to attach the blades, etc. It's exactly the same as we've had with the official and the previous versions of this mold unplug now the hands do have a tilt on them you just tilt said blades down and then depending on uh, which blade you want to put in where you slide those in or you can slide in the battle hooks uh, it's all dependent on what you want that's me i like how these spiked gauntlets look absolutely adore the axe as well i love the fact that it's got a dual handle although it could do with having some of the uh, same style paint applications it's just some kind of dark weathering or something on these weapons uh, much like they've done with his blaster so it seems silly to do the gauntlets the guns and leave the weapons as they are on my particular model the gauntlets are pretty difficult to get off you have to kind of slide them forwards and then bring them down yeah but once they're off they're off so you need those off to enjoy the transformation and the transformation in the most part is pretty much the same as what we've had before albeit uh, these aren't actually mentioned at all in the instructions the instructions are from the first version and they haven't included any of these additional pieces uh, but from what i can see it's pretty much straightforward uh, it's just a matter of bringing these pieces in like so and these pieces here now uh, don't tab in as well they just unfold as we would now to save time uh, with this being a repaint i will just include a link just up here to the transformation if you'd like to see that but for now uh, let's get this guy turned into his vehicle mode. and here we have him fully transformed up i don't think i've done it quite right i think i've folded the head in slightly offset because it doesn't quite press down on here and it should do uh, the other versions will sit really square and it's nothing to do with the new additional section because that sits just at the back here hiding down in between these legs which is a rather nice little hiding place for it, but really do adore this particular paint scheme. And we can just flip the back panel over, finishing it off. Uh, that's a really nice look for Prime. I haven't switched out the tires yet, because uh, I fully intend to transform him back up to robot mode and have him displayed like that. But this is exceptional. I've actually been displaying these alongside my mask vehicles and alongside my mask figures uh, i think these are slightly too small uh, but it still looks exceptional i need to get myself a rhino as well and or maybe paint one of these up to look like rhino i think that'll be pretty cool uh, but absolutely adore this this in my opinion is better than their first attempt uh, but it is very tight between this and the nemesis prime and here we have them alongside the Nemesis Prime. As you can see, they've used that same silver kind of smoked color for both. And that is the Weizhang M01 Commander. Looking slightly dated now, but uh, still a very good scale in my opinion. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. My personal opinion, I would wait out for this version if you haven't already purchased the first version. If you have purchased their first version, is this worth the money? Uh, probably not. You know, they're both 
good in their own right. But if I was to pick one of the two, it would definitely be this one over that first interpretation. Yeah, Black Mamba do, do seem to be getting better and better at what they're doing. Very much looking forward to getting their bumblebees. I have the oversized 28 centimeter studio series en route and also have their repaint of the MPM Masterpiece Bumblebee. That should be en route as well. I'll include a playlist to the Black Mamba figures on the side here. And until next time, from myself and the Black Mamba LS03F, Commander of the God of War. Ah, good. Bye.